You see the blue and the yellow, you know what time it is. Let's see what happens. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Nick, also known as Also Sick, and in today's video, well, we got a huge surprise, another one. If you saw the last one, you saw that we finally got the dyno installed, but I am at a top secret location, kind of, in Southern California, and we're gonna do some R&D and actually put some parts on the brand new 11th Gen Civic SI. So, if you don't know where I'm at, and if you can't tell based off of the legendary liveries and everything, I am at Spoon Sports USA and huge shout out to Spoon Japan because they sent me a bunch of goodies for the brand new Civic SI. So we're gonna be doing some test fitting, pictures, videos, and give them their, our feedback. And also putting it on the dyno and doing like a little before and after. So stay tuned, fingers crossed, because obviously with R&D there's a lot of things that we gotta you know take notes on and make sure just everything fits perfectly before things start to hit production so that you guys can make your own purchase and run the same parts. So, super excited and I hope and my fingers are crossed that the same fitment and everything works good on this, but right now, Aaron's gonna be helping us out and uh, we're gonna be installing this, so let's just get to it. not really sure what they sent but uh, they just said show up so see the famous mirror for the rearview mirror you see some brake calipers so that's probably the first thing we're gonna install you see an air filter drop in air filter the clutch slave that's probably a steel braided hose a big throttle body so I'm kind of excited to open that one up and then uh, front and rear brake pads. Oh, sick. So, I'm probably most excited about the brake kit because if you saw the one video where I took it to Button Willow at the SoCal Drivers Club, it didn't do too, it, the handling did well, but the brakes and the tires, sock tires obviously can only last for so long. So I think this is a huge first step for the first mods that you should do, especially if you're gonna be tracking the car. So let's open this up. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be unboxing is uh, big brake kit. So it is a spoon caliper and it is in the famous blue color. So look how much bigger these are than the stock ones. If you saw when I went to the track at Button Willow for the SoCal Drivers Club, you would have seen my biggest things that I was fighting with the car was obviously the tires, but also the brakes. The brakes were fading really, really fast. So this is definitely a must when you're going to check your car or even if just on the street because then it's just you know it's consistent it's better stopping it uh, makes just the car handle and perform a lot better as far as braking is concerned everybody's always worried about going fast making the car way faster more horsepower faster 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 but it's like that's cool but what good is going fast if you can't stop so i'm really excited to try these on and hopefully they all fit we're going to be doing testing taking pictures and giving our feedback to uh, Spoon Japan. And if all goes well, uh, then I can't wait to the next track day. Other than that, instructions. I can't read Japanese, but uh, Google Translate or, uh, honestly, it seems pretty straightforward. And they organize everything nice. So, can't wait to give you guys my feedback on this. And uh, when it's all said and done, it'll be in production and it'll be available to you guys, so. Yeah, 
let's get this installed. All right, so aside from the big brakes, you know what else you need? Bigger, better rotors. And look how that's one. I don't even want to open it. And if you're not 21 and older, ask for parent supervision on that. All right, so I gotta ask, is there like special coating on this? Uh, yeah, it's just the same coating, but it, it comes right off. Oh, okay. After the first couple of times. So it's, it's like the factory. Oh, it's like the factory. It's okay. just anti corrosion I see. There you it's go. It's like a, see your hat? Yep. It's the, basically the same. It's all grounded off on the pad surface, so. Okay. So just so it doesn't get corroded then? Yeah. And do we know if these are bigger than the OEM ones? Uh, a little bit bigger, yeah. Okay. So we'll find out once we uh, take these off, the stock ones, and do a little side-by-side -side comparison. off and I also got to take off the road. Got the 17. pads. Oh, look at that. Blue and yellow. With the Time 7 wheels, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of clearance between the spoon caliper and the wheel. Uh, for the stock wheels, for this spoon caliper to fit, you actually do need to run a spacer. It's like a 10 millimeter spacer, but with that, you're probably most likely gonna need extended wheels does as well. All right, so thankfully, I already got a, my own set of the TS5s at the house. I just need to mount the tires, which I'm gonna be running some Yokohamas. And 
it is a different color. I'm not gonna tell you the color yet, so we're gonna have to wait and see that video, but this is what it'll look like. All right, so the install is all done. There's still a few more stuff that we have to do, but first we gotta put this car on the dyno, baseline it, and then install it just to see the before and afters. But the front spoon brakes are on. But aside from that, huge shout out to Spoon USA, AKA Go Tuning, and huge shout out to Spoon Sports Type 1 from Japan. And if you guys wanna see Spoon Sports USA at the Experience May 7th in Bakersfield, be sure to comment that below. <laughs>